All right, so here are all my regular stick, like twist up lipsticks, jumbo lip pencil sort of things, actual lip liners. I have some like tinted lip balms. These are just lipstick overflow that need to go in these containers. There are a few lipstick tinted lip balms missing that I love that are like my vanity or my purse. I'm not going to get them because whatever. Um, but these acrylics I love. I might order another one. They're from eBay and then, you know, my regular Walmart and Dollar Tree organizer. So I've already pre-gone through this a bit because it makes it a thousand times easier to film. So a bunch of these need to go because they're just old. So let's start decluttering. This whole row is MAC. I'm going to keep all of these. I do really like MAC lipsticks. The only one I'm iffy about is this one. This is a mineralized rich lipstick. It's pretty. I'm just not sure it's my kind of color anymore. So I need to wear it a couple times to decide if it's time to back to MAC it because it is a little bit old. A few of these lipsticks back here, actually all these, I just pulled out of my freelance kit. I'm going to use them on myself. They're a little bit old, so some of these might be going soon, but I want to try to get some more use out of them, so I'm going to keep these as well. They just need to find a home. I'm going to move these out of the way for now. So all those are staying. All of my little mini Urban Decay lipsticks are staying as well. This, um, this is from their like 90s collection or something. I used to not like it, but I'm going to try to use it more. I can't part with this yet. The old Urban Decay collection, I really liked this, so I'm going to hold on to this one called Naked. I have one Lancome lipstick. Look how fancy. It's beautiful, super dark. I need to wear this. I haven't. Love Estee Lauder lipsticks. have a couple of those. Here's another one that I love and I'm definitely keeping. But now we're going to get to some that need to go. So these two are super cute. They were from one of those Walgreens, like, Disney slash Marvel slash DC, whatever collections they did. And they're cute little lipsticks. But first of all, they're just not quite my types of shades. And they're really not great quality. And they're kind of old. So I'm going to throw these two away. These two NYC Expert Last Lip Colors are really nice lipsticks. But I've had these for a hot second. So I'm going to go ahead and get rid of both of them. This is Blue Rose and Air Kiss. I used to really like Air Kiss, but it just needs to go. They're old. This one, this is a Butter London lipstick in Frisky. It's like magnetic. This is the stupidest color for me. I look absolutely ridiculous in these shades. I'm not going to wear this. It's not been worn, so I'm just going to clean it and give it to a friend because I just, no. I'm going to keep my Jeffree Star Unicorn Blood. I always forget I have this. It is a pretty color. Pretty decent formula. This Revlon one, um, that just doesn't excite me. It's kind of sheer. I got this in my stocking one year. If I'm going to wear purple, it's not going to be this. So I'm just going to go ahead and get rid of this one. That's Violet Frenzy. This I can't part with. This is an old Rimmel lipstick, the Moisture Renew in Vintage Pink. Y'all, I just have an obsession with this color and this formula. I'm sorry, I can't part with it yet. Just can't do it. I do also have one of the Rimmel Kate lipsticks in 11. I need to make a point to wear this. I haven't worn it much. I got it on clearance last year. This Milani lipstick can finally go. This is Enchanted Amethyst. This is old. It was supposed to be a dupe of the MAC Rihanna lipstick. It's pretty, but like I said, old and I haven't worn it in forever. All of these, this is so sad, these are, who remembers these NYX Macaroon Lippies. I feel like these were so, like, highly coveted, is that the word, or sought after. I got the purple one in violet and the blue one in earl gray, and I loved this color. I still do. How fun is that? But these are super old. I don't reach for them. I need to get rid of them. And this blue looks absolutely stupid on me. I don't know why I've kept it for so long. But they just need to go. It breaks my heart because I love this. But it's got to go. In similar collection, NYX did their Wicked Lippies. Again, some crazy colors. This one is Immortal and Scandalous. I loved this shade too. I have some old pictures with that one, I know. And this one, I think. So fun, but they're super old. They need to go. 
It says one year. I've had these things for years. I have a NYX Butter Lipstick, which I do really like this formula. It's pretty similar to those um, lipsticks formula. This one is in Hunk. I think I've had this for a little too long, but I like that color. I think I'm going to keep this temporarily. This is going to be like a try it, wear it, see if it bothers me. And if it does, throw it out. If it doesn't and I like it, I'll keep it. But I'm very on the fence. I'm leaning towards no, but I need to keep it for now. This Wet n Wild lipstick, I'm finally going to let go. I used to really like these. Um, Will you be with me? I just don't... I'm not wearing it. I have other things I would rather wear. And I hate this packaging. I have a Lorac Alter Ego Hydrating Lip Stain and Model. I got this for my work and it is just a terrible color for me. Not a bad formula, but I'm going to pass this along to a friend because it doesn't work for me. I have a Sephora Lip Stories. I'm actually going to keep this one. I'm just kind of moving things around right now. This, Anastasia's Lipsticks. Beautiful packaging. Can we see? Gorgeous packaging. Love it. But I hate their lipstick formula and their liquid lipstick formula, if you're wondering. This one is soft pink. It's so damn dry. Can't stand it. I'm going to pass it along to somebody who does like it. I have a bunch of mini lipsticks here. This is a very old Marc Jacobs one. What's this called? Kiss Kiss Bang Bang. I liked it, but it's painfully old. It needs to be thrown away. This little mini Lancome one, I just recently got it because it was free. I need to try it, but I don't think it's going to work well for my skin tone, but it's cute and I got it for free, so I'm going to try it. I have two little Bite Beauty lipsticks. Kimchi, which is like the only bright pink you'll see me have and keep. We'll hold on to it for now. And this one is Chai. This is newer. I do like this color. I need to wear that. I'm going to keep these for now, but the bright pink one, probably going to need to go next declutter. But this guy, this is old. This is a Bite Beauty like duo they had during holiday. One end is Violet and the other is Palomino. And they're pretty. They're cute. They're super tiny. But the colors just didn't come off quite the way I was thinking they would. I don't know. I was just like disappointed by it, I guess. And it's super old and it needs to go. I've heard Bite Beauty is made more natural, so they expire faster. So I need to get rid of this. I have two Essence lipsticks I've gotten recently on clearance. They're very purple. I'm going to hang on to both of those for now. Max Mare. Keeping on my Mac. And this Clinique one from Lipstick Day. How freaking cute is this? Will it focus? Isn't that adorable? I don't know how I feel about the color. I need to try it. Not not crazy about it, but the packaging's so cute. I have to try it. Onto this little box. It's a little piece of cardboard that I cut up. Um, like I said, I was keeping the Estee, keeping that's a mini MAC one. This, I know I've shown in a declutter before. I loved this. This e.l.f. lipstick in Classy is really nice for like two bucks. Really pretty color, but it's super old and I've got to throw it out. So that's got to go. I also have an old Wet n Wild Fergie lipstick in Ferguson Crest Cabernet. Pretty. Not a bad formula. Just is old and it needs to go. This one is a lipstick queen like kind of top coat called Ice Queen. Again, old. Needs to go. Plus I never reached for it. What else we got down here? Oh! I'll just talk about all these together. These are the Benefit Double the Lip Their Real lipsticks that are like lipstick, lip liner in one, like an ombre situation. Um, I got these two recently for free from work. And I'm just going to go ahead and keep all three of them until I've tried them more and decide if I like them or not, and then I'll get rid of them. So we're just going to hang on to them for now. Gonna just put these aside. And I'm going to put these half lipsticks in here. I have a NYX Plush Gel Lipstick in Karma Kiss. 
Oh, that's red. Wow, the formula feels really nice and creamy and gel-like. I like it. I'm going to keep it for the formula to try it out, even though I know they don't make these anymore, but um, I'm not crazy about the color, but the formula just feels really cool. I think this would be pretty for summer, so I want to see how this one looks on me. Then these two, oh, I don't know if I'm able to do this. These are the NYX High Voltage Lipsticks, which is a really great formula. This one I know I'm going to get rid of, what do you call it, Playdate. It just looks kind of stupid on me. I'm really fair, so like, just not the greatest idea, Maddie. So we're going to get rid of that, but this one is called Flutter Kiss, and I love this. It's so pretty. It's old, but I'm sorry, I can't part with it yet. I love it. I'm going to wear it. If it gives me any weird feelings, I'm going to get rid of it, but it's just so pretty, and I love the formula. I wore this for quite a while, so I'm going to hang on to this one for now, too. All right, that's better. I'm just going to put some of these two tall lipsticks now over here. This I did a video on. You saw my little set beauty all in one. These are the lipsticks from it. You know what? I just, I don't like this lipstick. I don't mind the tinted lip balm. Like I said, I have a whole video, but it like goes together. So I'm just going to keep this in here for the other part. Back here, these are all tinted lip balms. I'm definitely keeping my little Benetint guy. This buxom plumping like tinted lip balm stick thing I'm keeping. Um, the It one I'm also going to keep, even though they're similar. And the Winky Lux one. These are all super similar. They like are clear and then they like change. But look, this has a flower in it. How cute. Um, what else we got back here? This. Y'all know why I have this. Like, look at the packaging. It's Ariel. Isn't she cute? I don't use this. I need to get rid of it. <sighs> a sad day. It is finally time to part ways with my beloved Revlon Lip Butters. These are so nostalgic for me. I used to have a ton. I loved these. I wish they'd bring them back. This one is Cupcake. Like I said, these are super old and I don't wear this. This needs to go, but oh, I loved these and I love the packaging. I miss these. Don't y'all miss these? Someone tell me they miss these too. I have these two LA Colors Color Balms from Dollar Tree. Zap and Kapow. Just don't see myself reaching for them. Slash, I don't reach for them. And I hate bright pink. Something is telling me to keep this purple one. I'm going to keep this for a little bit and see how I like it. But I'm going to get rid of the pink one. And last two in here are my Maybelline Color Whispers. I don't think they make these anymore either. But I also really liked these. I don't know if you can see... Maybelline Color Whispers are kind of like a tinted lip balm with a little more color, if that makes sense. This is Pink Possibilities, and this one is Lust for Blush. I really liked this Lust for Blush shade, but they just need to go. They're old, but I really liked them. I'm so sad. Now the Jumbo Lip Pencils. This Bite one is new. I'm going to keep that one. This Tarte one is old. This wasn't even mine originally. You can't see, sorry. This Tarte one in Wonder has needs to be thrown away. I have two Clinique Chugby sticks I've gotten recently. I don't know how I feel about them, so I need to try them a bit more. So we'll see. Those are on the fence. Oh my god, ew. <laughs> These NARS ones are so old. These NARS. I did like the formula. This one is Cruella. And this one is... Ricky Juin, I have no idea. Um, these were the old Sephora birthday gift, I'm sad to say, because they're crazy old. I haven't worn them in a while, and also, why does the cap spring off? Oh, now it doesn't do it, okay. Um, they're pretty, I should have worn them more, but they're super old now and they need to go, so these are trash. Also, I did really like the Wet n Wild Mega Slicks Balm Stains. This one's Ready or Not. This was pretty, but it needs to go. And the last one is a Diamond Cosmetics Jumbo Lip in Sweetheart Orchid. Really pretty. This is just old and it smells weird. It needs to go. Okay, we're almost done. Now just lip liners. I had a hot minute where I really liked lip liners. 
I still do. I need to use them more. They make your lips look so much nicer. Um, but some of these are old and some of them I just don't like. So I have, where is it? I have this Urban Decay Ozone Clear Lip Liner, which is great because it keeps any lip color from feathering. It's kind of old. I'm still hanging on to it, but I have a backup in Estee Lauder Clear ones. So I'm keeping both of those. I love the Pure Lip Liners. This is super nice. So I'm keeping that one. Um, I love my Urban Decay Lip Liners. Ooh. I have a couple, so I'm going to keep those. Um, oh, I have a MAC lip liner. I'm going to keep that one. It's not old. This Buxom. These Buxom Jumbo Lip Plumping Lip Liner things, they don't plump. They feather. They're a mess. I don't like them. I'm getting rid of this one. This one's called Stakeout. It's just like a hot mess and a half. I just, no. Gotta go. Okay, this red one from Absolute. It's a really nice, like, creamy gel formula, but it's old, but it's, like, my only red lip liner. So I need to keep it, at least till I get another one. So we're going to hang on to that. I have two Rimmel Exaggerate lip liners that I actually really like. I got on clearance last year. I'm going to hang on to those. This Jordana lip liner I used to love. The Easy Liner in Silver Lilac. Very pretty. Sorry, I keep going out of frame, but it's old, so I'm going to throw that one away. Oh, this Wet n Wild Gel Lip Liner. This is nice. Um, it's really creamy. I was wearing that for quite a while, so I'm going to keep this one. Oops, almost put in the wrong spot. The rest of these are different NYX lip liners, and I'm not sure how I feel about all of them. Let's see. Okay, so I'm going to keep the regular NYX one in Mahogany. It is that one, kind of a good deeper nude. I'm going to keep this top purple one in Brazen. But these two... This one is, a, I think they're, yeah, they're both suede. This one is, oh, put it on, and submersive socialite, these two middle shades. And the tip of the pencil looks like it's molding. There's like white crap on it. And one of them looks like that when I got it. So these just need to go. It freaks me out too much. I'm going to trash them. Even though they're not super old. Let me fix it and then we'll see what it looks like. Yo, look how clean this is. Look, there's so many spaces for new ones. We have 10 open spots. Everyone's kind of organized. I'm happy about it. This is going to drive me nuts. I got to move these down. Hold on. Okay, I feel better. Call me crazy. I don't care. Wait, no. Now I feel better. Okay. So this has dwindled down quite a bit. Let's count and see how many we got rid of. 34 lip products are going. Most of them are getting thrown away. A few of them over here, I'm going to see if friends want and clean them. But oh my gosh, that's like half, I feel like. I feel like I did really good. Yay, I'm excited about this one. This drawer looks so much better to me and all this old stuff can go. Hey. Okay.